God. Holy Spirit, in the mighty name of Jesus, we need rivers of living water today, oh God. Let rivers of living water stream through this place, oh God. Oh, hallelujah, Jesus. Oh, God, we just pray, God, for the drought to end, oh, God. Oh, God, rain down from heaven in these dry places, God, in the desolate land, oh, God, in the name of Jesus, Father. Fill us with your Holy Spirit, God. Oh, hallelujah, Father. Revive us again, God. Revive us this day, God, so that we may worship you, God, so that we may just... Stand in your presence, God. We trust and believe in the word of your power, God, today. That you sent forth your word to heal us, God. To deliver us from our destruction, God. Send forth a word today, God. A word, God, that's going to empower us, God. A word that's going to heal our bodies, God. A word that's going to give us wholeness today, God. A word that's going to restore soundness and joy today, God. Oh, hallelujah, God. Hallelujah, God. Restore the joy of your salvation in your people, God. Oh, hallelujah, God. We got a reason to praise you, oh God. But this is the day in which you have made. You have given us a purpose to rejoice. You've given us a reason to be glad in it. Oh, hallelujah, Jesus. I thank you for my salvation today, God. I thank you for each and every person here today, God. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father God, you know what we stand in need of. God, you're able to do exceedingly, abundantly above all that we can ask and think of. According to the power that worketh within us, God. You're able to keep that which we have committed unto you against that day, God. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, hallelujah. Let it come out of us today, God. Streams of living water, let it well up out of us today. In the mighty name of Jesus, God, let us be empowered. Yeah. Let us be encouraged through your spirit, God. Yeah. Thank you, Father, that we are sons and daughters yeah. of the living God. The Bible says that and to as many as received him, to them gave him the power, yeah. the insouciance. The authority to be sons and daughters of the living God. If you're saved today, then you, 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 you're in a special place. If you're a Christian today, you're filled with the Holy Spirit, then you need to be encouraged today. Man, because that Holy Spirit is the greatest force on the planet Earth. The Father is in heaven. Jesus is on the right hand of the Father. The Holy Spirit ministry is right here in the believer. Hey, the Bible says that we've been given the spirit of God so that we can know those things which have been freely given unto us. Oh, God. What? Hey, you got the spirit of God living in you. Hey, it's been given to you so you can know what has been freely given unto you by God. Oh, hallelujah. Hey, he said that the, the Holy Spirit has been shed abroad in our heart. Hey, you got the Holy Spirit. Yes. Praise be to God. Amen. Hey, but look, it, hey, you can be saved and not have the baptism of the Holy Spirit, though. Hey, right. over there in the book of Acts, uh, right. Paul ran up on some disciples of John and asked them, hey, have you been baptized with the Holy Spirit? They said, we have never I even have. heard that there was such a thing as the Holy Spirit. You can be walking around saved and not have the baptism of the Holy Spirit. See, the Holy Spirit saves us. It's his ministry to save us. But that's not it. <laughs> hey, the Holy Spirit don't just saves us and don't just... The Holy Spirit fills us. It's another... It's, a, it's something else after you get saved. It don't stop. The baptism of the Holy Spirit. Hey, hey, John came to baptize with water. John said that they, he who comes after me is going to baptize you with the Holy Ghost and fire. Hey, I know one thing that them disciples, they was weak and powerless before that day of Pentecost. You know? It said that when the day of Pentecost was fully upon them. Hallelujah. That day when that Holy Spirit fell, hey, Glory to God. That was the making of the church right there. Glory to God. If you are a saint of God today, then you need to be encouraged. Oh, hallelujah. Hey, this is our time. It's time for the people of God to rise up. Yeah, hey, it's time for the people of God. We the church. 
we the body of Christ. Oh, hallelujah. Hey, we waiting for this and that. Hey, Christ is going to do it all. The Bible says he's going to receive a church unto himself. He's going to receive it. A church prepared by himself. He's going to wash out every, every spot. Glory to God. Hey, he's going to wash out every spot and crease out every wrinkle. All that false teaching, all that stuff that, you know, that supposed to be the gospel, but it's not the gospel at all. He's going to wrinkle it out. He's going to eye it out. All those creases. You know, all that false teachings. Hey, because, hey, look. Hey, it's not just a liar, but it's he who loves a lie also. Hey, you love a lie if you're sitting up under a false doctrine. Hey, look at the greatest travesty is ever in the body of Christ is us getting a misdiagnosis of our true problem. You know, our problem is sin. Right. Hey, look, we, we, the devil is not our enemy. Hey, the devil was defeated on Calvary. Jesus Christ stripped, stripped him of all his weapons of warfare, left him with one thing, a lie. But the devil is not a Christian's enemy. Our enemy is our flesh. Hey, a Christian's enemy is his flesh because that old man is always trying to catch up to me. He's always trying to catch up to us. Hey, it's not the devil. The devil ain't your enemy. The devil is nobody's enemy, really. Because if you're in the world, the devil ain't your enemy. He's your friend. If I'm serving, when, I'm, when I was out there uh, doing all I can, you know, smoking, cracking, doing all of this and drinking, the devil wasn't my enemy. He was my best friend. Hey, I was serving the devil with, with vigor and serving him with pleasure. He wasn't my enemy. You know, I was an enemy to God. Yo, know, the devil was my friend. You know, but now that I'm saved, I thank God that even before I was saved, the Bible said that he commended his love towards us, and yet while we were still sinners, Christ Jesus died for us. Hey, he who knew no sin was made sin unto us so that we may be found the righteousness of God in him. Oh, what a Savior. What a wonderful Savior. That's why, hey, I do not hold back on the Lord God. I don't hold back on Jesus Christ. When it's time for me to praise the Lord, I praise the Lord. When it's time for me to open my mouth and give him praise, I praise him for all he has done for me. Glory to God. Glory to God. They wrote me off years ago. I'm still here. When I was a teenager, they said, boy, you're not going to make it past 18. In and out of prison my whole life, my whole, my whole life in and out of prison, serving a false God, born and raised in a generation we called ourselves gods. I was in a cult, and I called myself God for years and years, uh, indoctrinated, never heard the gospel a day in my life until God did something to bring me down to Raleigh, North Carolina. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. I never, never, never have, I never done anything in my life, never really worked. But when I got saved and I see that man in that pulpit, I knew right there what I wanted to do. I knew my purpose. You know, it's a, you know, I went through life looking for my purpose without Looking for the one who gives purpose to life. Hey, once I found the one who give, gave purpose to life, I found my purpose in life. That's right. That's right. No, we walk around, we looking for our purpose in life, boy, but we forget to look for the one who gives purpose to life. Glory to God. I praise God today. I give glory to God today for all he has done. You know, I don't get up here and, uh, you know, give a misdiagnosis. You know, because we are, hey, man, it's God's love is abounding. Hey, we all love to hear about the goodness of God. We love to hear about that love of God, but we don't, you know, when we start to hear about the sin, hey, you can't, you can't comprehend grace without comprehending your total depravity. You have to first understand that you are totally depraved, that there is no good thing within you. No good. I man, no good. The Bible is, the, the word of God is a mirror. It shows me who I am. 
showed me who I was. Totally depraved. Sinful. That was me. And the Bible says that we all was dead in sin and trust, man. Glory to God. Hey, God can cure you. I don't care what it is. Hey, man, God didn't make no addicts. God didn't make no homeless people. God didn't make no criminals. He didn't make no uh, homosexuality, homosexuals. He didn't make none of that. All he made was sons and daughters of the living God. Hey, the Bible says that, hey, the Genesis that he formed man from the dust of the ground and breathed it into him the breath of life. Within you, within me is God. The principle of God. Glory to God. The breath of life is the breath of God. The breath of life that he breathed was the best own breath. The breath of God himself. The breath of God himself. That's what quickened you. That's what brought you out of death into life. The very breath. The very life. The life. The life that came in the breath. The life of God. It's, it's in you. That's why they talk to, to, to yes. Timothy. Stir up the Holy Spirit that's yes. Yes, in God. you. Because you have oh, in you Lord. the Holy Spirit. You have in you the very Lord. breath of God himself. Thank you, God. The maker. Thank you, God. It's and, called the and, Ruach of God, the and, wind. And that breath, Ruach of God, it, it continues <laughs> to sanctify you, yes, Lord. purify you every day. Every day there is a powerful force in you. Yes, Lord. A powerful force in you that causes you to be not just stirred up, but transformed and changed because that continually washing, the washing of regeneration. The Bible doesn't they call that the washing of regeneration. The washing of regeneration. Hey, hey, what's happening. Hey, hey, that word regeneration is a great word. It means like to be uh, like renovated. Like when you go into a house and you gut everything out. <laughs> Glory to God. The regeneration. Brand new. Brand new. Brand new. Brand new. Glory to God. I'm brand new. If You're any brand man new. be in Christ, he is a new creation. Old things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. And all things are of God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord. Wow. 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 He's a mighty God. Hallelujah. We serve an wow. awesome God. Wow. Ooh, hallelujah, God. Wow. It doesn't get better than that. Oh, no, no, it don't get no better than that. I've been on a missionary journey in New York. I'm so glad, happy to be back down here with the church that it was. I just missed my spiritual mom before I even got saved. My kids and used to help her feed people on the corner of Warrior. Yeah. I was unsaved. Didn't know nothing, just used to come by. Amen. And these, these wonderful people of God used to minister to me. Amen. And uh, I've just been with them. And I just thank God. I thank God for the people of God. You know, the people of God with the word of God in their heart, the word of encouragement in their heart. Kept me encouraged. You know, I was kept slipping, kept slipping kept falling, but they was always there for me, and I thank you, I thank you, Brother Daniel, I thank you, my spiritual mom, Miss Alice, love you, love the people of God also, thank you, love Church in the Woods, my sister, Miss Joanna, <laughs> praise God, praise God.